Hello everyone, today we're going to review the Kingston 32GB 600X Compact Flash or CF card. Now, this card for its price is the best card I've ever seen. Uh, I bought mine on FutureShop.ca for only $67.99. Uh, however, I believe the price has since lowered to $64.99, which is a very good deal for its card. Uh, on paper, the specifications are extremely high for under $100. This card reads and writes uh, approximately 90 megabytes per second, and that is sustained, which is even more impressive. Uh, I've uh, used some Lexars in my previous experiences, where the Lexars, I believe it was a Lexar 400X, and that one only uh, writes up to about 45 megabytes per second. And that one is, uh, here in Canada, that one is about $110. Uh, so not exactly the best speed for the money. However, if you don't shoot sports or you shoot single frames, that one will be good enough for you and is very reliable. So, uh, here we have one of the best cards I've ever seen. Um, on paper, everything looks handy dandy, great, perfect. But how does this really perform in real life? Well, that's what we're gonna do today, and we are going to put it to the test. Here we have, for our testing purposes, a Canon 70, uh, 17 to 40 uh, FRL USM, and uh, uh, we are going to shoot with that card in. And we're going to put it on high speed continuous and we're going to shoot till the buffer is full. Of course, we will also see how long it takes from the beginning of the burst till the uh, LED light turns off. Uh, we're going to see how long it will take to write all the files from the burst. And uh, we are going to do that right now. So here's the camera. Card goes in. There we go. Loaded, ready to go. Uh, just a secure check, we are going to format the card. There we go. And uh, to help us with our testing, we have a handy dandy calculator and a handy dandy stopwatch. So we're going to put the stopwatch right here. There we go, it's got the buttons on the back, I got the right button there. And the camera's focused, here we go. And three, two, one. Still going, going, still going. Oh, from the beginning of the burst to the end, uh, it took uh, to the end of the right. It took approximately thirteen point nine seconds. Uh, so let's round that up to fourteen. It's close enough. Oh well. So uh, fourteen seconds from the beginning to the end. How many pictures did we take? Let's take a look. We took approximately 31 pictures, sizes uh, of, uh, whoops, that's not it, sizes 21.8 megapixels, uh, megapixels, 21.8 megabytes each. Uh, each image is, of course, 17.9 uh, megapixels. So, uh, 21.8 megabytes each. Let's do a quick math here. Calculator. 21.8 times 30, whoops, 91. 31 in total equals to, as we can see here, we got 675.8 megabytes to write to the card, and uh, that took approximately 13.9 seconds. So divided by 13.9. And there you go, that's the speed of the, uh, of the entire duration, the average speed of the entire duration. So uh, compared to the uh, specification listed, uh, it is unfortunately not as high. Sitting at, uh, so here we have a 48.6 megabytes per second. However, that is still uh, very impressive for the card and its class. Uh, well below $100 and it still writes very fast. And uh, especially after the, uh, after the burst, it took only, uh, it took less than 10 seconds to finish writing all of the uh, images from the burst, which of course, is also a huge benefit if you're a sports shooter. So, uh, may maybe not quite as high speed as it's advertised, but uh, a, ver a ver still very speedy card, considering its price. And uh, if you have a UDMA6 or 7 compatible camera, you will be able to use this card uh, for its greater speed. S in, my in my case, the 
70 is, uh, of course, UDMA6 compatible. So the card uh, does show off some of its high performance areas, uh, although not as high as we are expecting, unfortunately. <laughs> However, I'm sure Kingston will get that figured out soon enough. Uh, for now, I uh, even, even if it's not as high as it's advertised, I am still very happy with the card. Uh, for my purposes, I normally shoot uh, fast-moving objects such as uh, athletes, uh, animals, uh, kids. For my purposes, this card has been more than great. I, in fact, it's perfect for me uh, since I don't want to blow two hundred dollars on a UDMA on a UDMA seven card or something like that, and my camera can't can't take advantage of that either. So if you're on if you're on a budget. Or if you're a, if you just simply don't want to spend a lot of money on a card, go ahead buy this. This is a fantastic card. It might it, it, in real world test, although that that, that it doesn't seem to be up to its uh, lab tested standard. But I assure you, you will not be disappointed. That's it for now.